Hi there, my name's Andy Sykes, otherwise known as Hexjibber. I'm a award-winning animator and I also teach flash animation in universities and colleges here in the UK. This is my website, hexjibber.com, and uh, here's the lesson. Hi there, and welcome to my lesson on shape hints. Hopefully you'll have checked out my lesson on shape tweens, and I've got a shape tween ready and waiting for some shape hints here in the timeline. So basically shape hints are a way of refining your uh, shape tweens. If we just play the one I've got now, you can see that Flash is interpreting the two shapes and moving them in the way that it sees most fit. Now there's a couple of options before we go into shape hints that I didn't cover in my last uh, lesson. You can do easing just like you can with motion tweens. And you can also choose what sort of tweening you want. There's distributive, which is on at the moment, and angular. So if I change it to angular and then play it through, to be honest, I can't really notice much difference. They're just two different ways of moving between two shapes, and they're worth having a play about with. Anyway, shape hints. If I go up to the modify menu here and go to shape and add shape hint, Bear in mind that you will have to already have a shape tween ready, otherwise you won't get this option. Shape, add shape hint. And you can see here, there's a little A in a red circle that's just appeared. This is all pretty small. And basically I can move this around. Um, and if we go to our last keyframe, you can see that we also have that A, which is red. So what I need to do is I need to move this A onto a point in my shape that I want to reference. So I'm going to move it to the top left corner here, and you can see it's snapped straight onto there. And if I move to my second keyframe, I've got to decide where I want the sort of A hint to match on this shape. So where do I want this corner here to morph into on this shape here. So I'm going to say this sort of point in the star here because it matches the shape. So you can see if you look we've got A there and A there. It's now matching. So it's kind of it's pulling this corner here. If we play it through to match this corner here. So let's do a few more of those. If I go add shape hint again, pull it up to the top right hand corner and it'll clip on and move the B in the second keyframe to this point here. Let's have a look at that. You can see that it's changing the animation. It's keeping the two corners of the square here and here in line with the two points on the star here and here. So equally, I'm going to add a couple more. Um, add shape hint, I'm going to drag C onto the bottom left corner, and go to my second keyframe and drag C onto the bottom left point. Let's have a playthrough now. You can see that it's now tracking those points. And I'm going to do the same for the bottom right hand corner. Add shape, hint, stick D on the bottom right, and do the same on the star. So let's have a look at that. You can see that it's now using the four corners of the square to match the four points on the star. So that's pretty cool. You can get a lot more control with shape hints and start getting the shape tweens that you want. So have a go yourself, and I'll see you in the next lesson. Hey, if you've enjoyed this lesson, why not consider checking out my website, hexjibber.com, where you can also buy my book, The Hexjibber Coloring and Activity Book. You can buy it in the UK, US, Germany, France, Japan, from Amazon and other good stores.